Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, the King will come, the Lord of the earth, and He Himself will lift the yoke of our captivity. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, were sitting there. And the power of the Lord was with with him for, for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence. But not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the, into the middle in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, Jesus said, As you, as for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks blasphemy? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven or to say, rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home glorifying God. Then astonishment seized seized them all, and they glorified God, and, and struck with awe, they said, We have seen incredible things today. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now today, I'd like, to, I'd like to invite you to reflect on, ano, on, the, on, on Christ's ability to read no, what goes on inside a person, no, Christ's ability to read or to somehow acknowledge no, what is happening to the other person that he is that he's encountering, no? that, ab- that ability to, again, we go back, no? the ability to be compassionate, to enter the life of that person, and to see, to, to see it from the perspective of the, as we say, from the shoes of that person. No? And you see that three times in today's gospel. No? So number one, the faith of the friends. Number two, the paralytic himself. And number three, the Pharisees and the scribes. No? So, with regard to the friends of the paralytic, no, there's that very, very powerful, uh, no, powerful line here in this gospel. No, as for you, okay, when Jesus saw their faith, no, when Jesus saw their faith, he saw the faith of the friends, and because of that faith, no, the Lord now decides to heal the paralytic, or is, or is in a sense convinced or inspired to heal the paralytic. Now, you know that first point to reflect on, no, that. Jesus saw their faith, no. And when you think about it, the Lord understands what goes on in, inside us, no. He sees the the power and the strength of our faith, or even you might say how how feeble maybe that faith is, no. But yet at the same time, the Lord is able to 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 take a look at our interior movements, no. And the same is true also for the paralytic. The second point, no. Here the paralytic, the Lord doesn't say, "I heal you." But the Lord says, as for you, your sins are forgiven. So you realize there are two separate insights into these two separate groups, no? The group of the friends and the group now, and now the paralytic, no? And the Lord says, I for, your sins are forgiven. Remember during that time, no, people always associate illness or, or being sick from something bad that you did, a sin that you committed, no? So there's always that close association. And for me, the insight that, that I have here is that you realize again also the struggle, the, the Lord's ability to, the in, to see the interior struggle of persons. No? And here most certainly in the paralytic, the Lord realized that part of his, his illness was really that, that sense of um, sinfulness. No? That's why the Lord says, to, as for you, your sins are forgiven. No? And of course later on, he, he just outrightly says, no, rise, pick up your mat, no? But that second point is that ability, no, ability to, for the Lord to see the inner struggle of people. No? And then the third and last point is the Lord's ability to see also the evil going on in men's hearts or in men's minds or ev- even in men's minds. No? 
And he sees that in the Pharisees and the scribes, no? That he will always, remember, criticize them for their malice, no? And always, when, when the Lord would ask them whether it was good to, do, to, good to do good on the Sabbath or not, no? They will keep quiet, no? And the Lord would understand their hardness of heart, their malice, no? So that the third example of how the Lord sees even in, in even the evil thoughts, no, of, of men and women, no. And I guess I just tried to give these three examples because one realizes, no, that that for our ministry and for our forming people, not just as priests, but for all of us who would like to influence others or have some role of influencing others, it's very important that we place ourselves in their shoes, no. And to understand things from their perspective, not from our perspective. And these are three clear examples that the Lord gives us in today's gospel. How he sees things no, from the perspective of the people. From the friends of the paralytic, wherein the Lord says as he, when, he, when he saw their faith. And then the inner struggle of the paralytic. So the Lord tells him, your sins are forgiven. And then... The, the, the evil thoughts, no, the malice of the Pharisees and the scribes. And, and so the Lord says, says to them, no, and the, the gospel tells us, no, um, so Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, why are you thinking? What are you thinking in your hearts? No? Siguro magandang makita natin na napakahalaga no, kung nais natin maglingkod sa kapwa, kung nais natin paglingkuran ng ating kapwa, lalong-lalo na kung nais natin maging tagahubog ng ating kapwa, mahalaga na nauunawaan natin ang nagaganap, ang nangyayari, ang kumikilo sa kanilang kalooban. Kagaya ito yung tatlong, tatlong, tatlong ehemplo dito sa Ebanghelyo ngayong araw, una sa lahat yung mga kaibigan ng paralitiko, anong sabi ng Ebanghelyo? Nung nakita ng Panginoon ang kaninang pananampalataya, yun ang nagbigay din ng inspirasyon sa Panginoon na hilumin yung kanilang kaibigan na paralitiko. So yung unang 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 ehemplo no unang halimbawa ng pagpagbasa ng Panginoon kung ano nangyayari sa kalooban ng tao nakita niya yung pananampalataya ng mga kaibigan. At yung pangalawang punto ay yung paralitiko mismo. Tandaan natin nung araw ma, kahit ngayon actually no madalas iugnay ang ang sakit sa kasalanan o isang masamang nagawa no. Sabi nga di ba iba parang karma or gaba sa sa Bisaya no. Uh, and Madalas siya, no? Yun, ano, parang inuugnay nila yun. Ano? Pag may sakit ka, dahil meron kang nagawa sigurong masama. Ano? At, at yun, nabasa rin ng Panginoon. No? Yung pagtutunggali sa kalooban ng paralitiko. Kaya, imbis sa sabihin niya kaagad, gumaling ka, maglakad ka, ano sabi niya? Pinapatawad ang iyong mga kasalanan. Maghilom ka, no? Ng espiritual. At yung pangatlo't huling punto ng, pag, ng kakayahan ng Panginoong basahin ng, ng gaganap sa kalooban ng mga tao ay doon sa mga periseo at eskriba yung pagiging malisyoso nila no yung pagiging uh, mapag ano mapag mapag-isip ng masama sa kapwa no at kaya sabi nga ng Panginoon ano ang ano ang ano ang nangyayari sa inyong isipan no dahil alam niya no na merong tumatakbong uh, malisyoso at hindi mo, masamang masamang isipin ano siguro mahalaga yan na makita natin no sa sa paglilingkod sa kapwa sa pangangalaga sa kapwa sa pagkalinga sa kapwa mahalaga na makita natin ang mga bagay mula sa kanilang perspektiba. Sabi nga, di ba, tayo ang lumagay sa kanilang kinatatayuan o tayo ang lumagay sa kanilang mga sapatos. No? At tanawin natin ang nangyayari mula sa kanilang perspektiba. Sapagkat doon tayo tunay na makapaglilingkod sa kapwa. Isang paglilingkod na hindi pagpapataw ng ating sariling kagustuhan o sarili nating pananaw, kundi tunay na pagtugon sa kanilang pangangailangan. Our ability to genuinely respond to the to the longings, the 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 petitions, if you wish, but the desires and hungers of people, is very much, in a sense, really dependent on our ability to see things from their perspective. Today, let us pray that we may be like the Lord, be able to see others, no, and what is in their interior, the interior movements of their life, that we may be able to respond properly.